In Canada, over 90,000 people live with multiple sclerosis. 10 to 15% of people with MS have a highly untreatable form of the disease, primary progressive MS, PPMS. People with PPMS experience a steady and relentless worsening of disability from the onset of the disease that is resistant to standard treatment. How can this be improved? One way that brain tissue is damaged in primary progressive MS is through the effect of a cell type called the microglia. Microglia are a cell type in the brain and spinal cord that normally have positive functions, such as clearing debris and assisting repair after injury. In primary progressive MS, however, microglial cells are overly active, and we believe that this microglial activation contributes to tissue damage. This study wanted to find a medication that can reduce microglial activation because this may then reduce tissue damage and slow down or ideally stop the worsening of disability in people with primary progressive MS. Previous laboratory studies found that hydroxychloroquine has a powerful calming effect on microglia, which was encouraging. This study looked at hydroxychloroquine for over five years in a small group of participants with primary progressive MS, testing if treatment with hydroxychloroquine can positively affect worsening disability. 35 people with primary progressive MS were given hydroxychloroquine for 18 months. The researchers expected 40% or 14 people to significantly worsen in their walking function. But at the end of the trial, only eight participants had worsened. Hydroxychloroquine can pass the blood-brain barrier, which allows it to act on both the brain and the spinal cord, suggesting that it affects the microglial activation in the brain and spinal cords of people with primary progressive MS. This study is just the beginning if the results can be confirmed in a larger study, we would have a promising treatment to reduce the worsening of disability in people with primary progressive MS.